Hello, Deanna here. Thank you so much for being here. Today's video is going to be a book review. Though it's a bit of an older book, the book that I will be reviewing is The Nanny Diaries by Emma McLaughlin and Nicola Krauss. This book is celebrating its 20 year publishing release soon. It has been 20 years since this was published. It was published in 2002, so that's quite a while ago that this book hit the market and uh, came out to the world. This book follows our main character, Nan, here, that is played by the lovely Scarlett Johansson in the movie and Nan is a nanny. She is a university student living in New York City and with that of course comes expenses and to help pay for her accommodations and her life in New York she takes on jobs nannying little children and not just any children but the children of the Upper East Side elite. She sees a lot of the upper class lifestyles in New York. In this book, we're following her through her journey in probably her toughest clients to date, and that would be Mr. and Mrs. X. And they are the parents of a little boy that Nan nannies, and his name is Grayer, though she adoringly calls him Grover. So this book, as we can see here with the lovely Scarlett Johansson, was made into a movie as well. And it cast Scarlett Johansson as Nan for the nanny. And then it actually had Chris Evans as the love interest. And I didn't even realize until kind of looking back at this that Chris Evans was the love interest because it's just so funny to me that they both are playing in this together and Chris Evans is just so different. I always did think that the the guy who played her love interest was very cute, but I didn't realize that he was Chris Evans, so that was really funny. And it's just funny that these two main characters of this movie go on to become Aven Avengers and not just like any Avengers, but like Chris Evans is literally Captain America, like one of the best Avengers. And so it's <laughs> really just funny that that is who's playing in the Nanny Diaries. And if you haven't watched the Nanny Diaries movie, I do recommend it, but it's very different in a lot of ways from the book. So there was definitely some differences between the book and the movie. But the book itself, I always find this such a comfort read for me. I have reread this book countless times. Like this is one that I have gone back to again and again. I don't know what exactly it is. I think it's just the dynamic of the relationship between Nan and little sweet Grover is just so cute. The things that she has to do for him, how she takes care of him, and just what she kind of sees and experiences. It's just really interesting and there's some heartbreaking scenes as well in this, especially like when Grayer gets sick or when ultimately her and Mrs. X butt heads. So that is definitely some downsides to how this ends in comparison to the movie. The movie is like this beautiful, sweet, happy ending for the movie. Just feel good, wonderful kind of outcome. The book is not. The book <laughs> practically destroys your soul at the end of it. It's just kind of heartbreaking. So, but it's still a really good read and I still enjoy it. It's really fun. It's really like a light read. There's a lot of like big points when it's just like explanation points in here and like little passengers. It's about like kind of what the Mrs. X is telling the nanny to do. And just, it's, it's really fun. It's like a really fun book to read though. It, like I said, does have some sadness in it too. So because it is the 20 year anniversary of the release of this book, I just wanted to give it a little shout out and I just wanted to just kind of bring its attention out there because like I said, this is one that I have reread many times. I just find it a really good 
read. It's funny, it's fascinating, and sometimes it's infuriating. And I just really love the book. I love the character of Nan, love the character of Little Greyer, and I do love Harvard boy that Nan starts dating as well. So they are just really great cast of characters. Mr. and Mrs. X infuriates me to no end and you really want to see them get their just desserts with how they treat Nan and how they treat poor little Grayer who like his solace in his relationship between him and his father is to like carry around his father's business card because he has like no other connection really with his father and that's just so heartbreaking to see that that you just want to hug little baby four-year-old Grover and just like make everything good for him but unfortunately that's just not how life goes sometimes and spoiler alert there's even a sequel to this book which is Nanny Returns and we actually see Grover come back and reach out to Nan years later so that's an uh, interesting book I didn't enjoy that one quite as much as The Nanny Diaries because The Nanny Diaries is my favorite book it is my favorite tale that she has here but i do very much love that we get to revisit those characters but i like this book i love this book i give this one a five out of five because it's just a really nice fun read it was interesting and i love the movie too the movie is really good i really suggest like i said you check that out check out this book too if you've never read the Nanny Diaries. I'd be kind of surprised because it is an older book, but if you never have read it, go check it out. If you kind of like little fun books, it's kind of got like Bridget Jones's kind of writing almost because it's like she's sort of writing in a diary, but not quite. It is Nan's point of view, so it is a first person narration and it takes us through three dis different seasons with her. We've got the fall, winter, and spring that we go through, and we get to see her kind of go through her relationship with Grayer through that, and how they connect, and how close they get, and we just see that side from Nan on this relationship, and what this job is like to her. I also really love in this book that we don't have like actual names for the parents, it's just Mr. and Mrs. X, so it's like, <laughs> Almost like this could be anyone along Park Avenue who maybe lives this kind of lavish, rich lifestyle who kind of treats their child more as an accessory than an actual real little human being. And these children that are raised more through nannies and other individuals rather than their own parents. So that is kind of a cheeky way that... Emma and Nicola did this and that it was like Mr. and Mrs. X so that was really fun as well and just it's a delightful read. I love this book. I give it a five out of five. One of my favorite reads and I just thought I would share one of my favorite reads this video especially like I said because it is the 20 year anniversary of this book. Wow <laughs> 20 years ago that's that's wild so I hope you check out this book if you never have. It's really a delight to read. And if you have read it, I'd love to know, like, what did you think of it? When's the last time you read it? Is it one that's on your bookshelf? Or did you kind of just read it a long time ago and pass it off? Or is, were you as enraptured by Nan and this story as I was and it continues to live on your bookshelf? So <laughs> I'd love to know below. As usual too, I also have a blog post about this one and I did this blog post actually like quite a few years ago because I had reread the book again back then and did my blog post then. So I will link the blog below. Go ahead and check that out. I always appreciate that and I always appreciate any likes if you like this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you so much. For watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care of yourself. Thank you again for watching and you will see me next time. Bye!